All right, thank you. Um, you know, I'm the token libertarian on the panel, and I know that means you probably think I'm going to talk most about economics and drugs, and you'll be right. I am going to talk most about economics and drugs tonight. In 1902, the nativist publication Judge, which I'm pretty sure Anne had a column in, <laughs> ran a cover image showing a giant horseshoe magnet suspended from a rope titled American Prosperity. And then all sorts of stereotypical bad immigrants. Uh, these were uh, Chinese coolies, fez-wearing Turks, uh, weird people who were probably Persian, uh, French actresses, bomb-throwing Italians, uh, Russian peasants, uh, European-looking people who were just carrying bags that said filth on them, were being sucked into the magnet. And the caption of the magnet on the cover of this judge issue just said, the only bad feature of our prosperity. We're a nation of immigrants, but we have never, ever, ever been comfortable with the ones currently streaming across our borders. And it's fascinating to hear Anne talk about how, oh, you know, the Jews were pretty good, you know, as pre-1970 people. Jews were locked out of this country to such a degree that millions perished during the Holocaust because they couldn't emigrate to America, including Otto Frank. That was the law you know, that, that uh, Teddy Kennedy amended. Um, so we've never been comfortable with the people streaming across our borders. It's true in 19, it was true in 1902, it's true in 2024. Last year, uh, saw what the AP called a record number of illegal crossings into America from Mexico. And that's not even the whole story, since the majority of people in the country illegally don't bum rush their way across the southern border. They come here legally, and then don't leave. That's why South Asian Indians are the third largest illegal people who are illegal in America. Is that your vision of an illegal immigrant? But what's strange about these invaders, these people who are rushing into our country and destroying everything is, what do they do when they get here? They break into our country and then they pick our crops, prepare our meals, cut our lawns, clean our toilets and babysit our children. What strange armies of the night. At the same time, at the same time that we are creating pa a panic on the border, and we need to deal with that, we've made it harder and harder for people to immigrate legally. Over nine million people are waiting to get green cards, and the wait time has skyrocketed over the past few decades from mere months to decades. Immigrants want to come to America now, for the same reason they did 100 years ago when my grandparents came here from shithole countries, as Donald Trump talked, from Italy and Ireland. They come here because of American prosperity. And they don't come here to destroy American prosperity. They come here to enjoy it and expand it and make it rich and new again. Contra Donald Trump, illegal immigrants are not bringing drugs or crime. Illegal immigrants commit fewer crimes than native-born Americans. Legal immigrants commit fewer crimes than native-born Americans. Immigrants have a higher labor force participation rate, and they're more likely to start a business than native-born Americans. In fact, immigrants and their children started 45% of today's Fortune 500 companies. They're stealing from us, aren't they? Even anti-immigrant economists like Harvard's George Borjas, himself a refugee from Castro's Cuba, conclude that immigrants on net are a boon. Uh, because they expand markets and fill labor gaps. The Congressional Budget Office has said that the deficit going forward will be a trillion dollars uh, less over the next decade because immigrants have expanded the economy. So what should we do? We should create a system that allows more people to come here legally and enter through the front door. Nobody can shut the border. Donald Trump, Peter Savodnik in the Free Press wrote recently that even Donald Trump couldn't shut America's borders. He slashed, and I'm quoting here, he slashed legal immigration by making it harder to get a green card or a visa, even as he failed to stop migrants from crossing the border. What people who want to shut the borders want is prohibition, this time for people. Prohibition was passed 100 years ago, at the same time that the first wide-scale exclusionary acts against Europeans was passed, driven by the same thing, fear of un-American immigrants like Catholics and Jews from Central and Southern Europe. 
It was costly and ineffective. Within a couple of years, Americans were drinking more liquor than they had before prohibition was passed. We get the same thing with border control. Things have tripled since the creation of the Department of Homeland Security. The amount of money being spent on border security has tripled, and yet we seem to have less of it. Let's create an orderly regulated and growing market for immigration, just like we ultimately did for beer and booze. Let people who want to live and work peacefully here come and do so. We can vet them and have them apply in their own countries and then come here to where they want to be rather than getting clogged up at the southern border or any place in particular. Allow individuals, churches, sponsor, uh, businesses, and nonprofits to sponsor them. Immigrants are already barred from most forms of welfare, as they should be. We should tighten up that. Our national debt is out of control. We should be building a wall around the welfare state, not the United States. We need, we need to legalize immigrants pulled here by the magnet of our prosperity and get on with the business of building the future of our country rather than trying to restore a tattered, imagined past. Thank you.